In this tutorial, we will talk about how to add note in a graph. You can write text there and how you can zoom in or zoom out graph to, to note the where is the graph touches each other and how to make any visual if we have multiple graphs and graph one graph paper we can make invisible any graph and we can make visible any other graph in this way we can study very easily where we have an interest now look at an graph paper this is a graph If I am looking to add note on it, I simply put an add note. Here you can write, for example, I am going to write it for it. Just click on OK. You can move it. Yeah, here you have add a mark. Okay, this mark means this is a transmission zero. You can add such a notes in any way in number of in our graph paper. Similarly, you can change here the names and other features. Now I'm going to look at For example, I am going to add a maximum. First of all, select graph and add, add maximum. This is maximum. I am going to add a node. Click on OK. I can move from it to here. Now this mark show that this is a maximum. Now I am when you click in this mark, only this mark value will be get highlighted. And if I click on this mark, only this mark value will be get to be highlighted. Rest of them will be become very dim. Similarly, we can add a number of Add nodes where we want. Now look at how we can move this graph from left to right or up top and bottom without disturbing our x and y coordinates. Just right click and view. And In this way, you can move and only graph it coordinate will not changing and this way you can move it very easily and when you want to make fix it in on proper position just click on view and fit all you can move this here yeah. similarly if you want this graph the starting position of graph I started from this at zero position. You can do that much by just right clicking view on first of click on view disappear and then it is already fit. First of all, click on graph and just view, and you can you can do whatever you have selected that will be fit get fitted on graphic. Yes, here you can see that now this graph is starting from this position, and accordingly their values are settled up is 
required. I am going to undo it. Similarly, if you want, if you want, if you want to check this graph position, only at this position you want, you can zoom it. I just click on it and this zoom button. Now, by by scrolling down mouse, you will see there this is working. And similarly, you can also do that. You can zoom it likewise. If it is not vertically seen, going to be seen, just click on view and best vertical fit. Now you can. Now you can examine the properties. How it is moved. And finally, when you have get steady, and just click on fit all. It will become as such. As default, we have got this graph. Now look at you can zoom in all graph paper. You can by by this clicking, you can zoom in easily. If I want to to write the first pass pen only, yes, do this selection. This is only one. Pass pen is rest of them and get disappeared. You can minimize it as much as you want, as much as you want. If you want, this graph must start it from zero. You just right click view and and click on fit selection. You have not selected already. Then first of all you have to select this. I am going to select the graph and then by you go to view and fit and selection. You can see there. Now I am going to import one another graph, then I will do how to make an invisible one of graph. Now you can, these are the two graphs, uh, one is S11 graph and this is S21 graph. If you want to make invisible one of graph, just click on that, go into view, just go into invisibility. Here you can see that. This is curve one.
and S11. If you want to make this repeat this, just click on done. I selection. By eye selection you can also do that. The other the graph is become invisible. Just go into visibility, click on this and done. No one graph is seem to be here. Now if you want to to check where these graphs are touching each other by just right clicking if I am going to check if I am going to check insertion losses of second pass point Here, these are the. This is the insertion losses of one pass point, first pass point. This will give you a proper selection. If you want to select any value, at any value, for example at 3 dB or 4 dB, without zooming, it's a less probability to select at that point.
Now look at the M12 shows at exact minus 3. In this way by zooming, zooming the graph you can find the exact point where you want to mark